Okay, in this video what we're going to do is a couple of word problems involving uh, three sets using the Venn diagram. So let's get started with this one. We have a survey of 100 students, misspelled students, who frequent the reading lounge of a university revealed the following results. So we got 40 read time, 30 read Newsweek, 25 read US News and Report. This is one magazine here, so don't uh, don't look at this and is the same as this one. 15 read Time and Newsweek. 12 read Time and U.S. News and World Report. 10 read Newsweek and U.S. News and World Report. 4 read all three magazines. Okay, so we got three sets. We got Time, Newsweek, and U.S. News and Report. So let's pull up our Venn diagram and get started. Okay, now let's label each set. So let's do... Okay, we'll call this one time, so T for time. This one can be Newsweek, and then this one down here could be U.S. News and World Report. Uh, we'll just call this one U for U.S. News. Okay, so when you get started, what you want to do is you want to look for any piece of information that is specific enough to a region. So, for example, when you say 40 read time, that would mean that if you were to add up these four regions, they would add up to 40. Well, that's not very helpful because, I mean, we can put any set of numbers in here that would make this add up to 40, like 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So this works. All right, this adds up to 40. So when you don't have specific information, you're not going to be able to place numbers yet. So let's start with this one. Okay, 40. Re, or I'm sorry, four, read all three magazines. Now I know exactly where that goes. That'd go right here. Okay, so this is the region that represents um, students who read all three magazines. And then what you're going to do is backtrack. Okay, work your way out. So then look for any pieces of information that deal with like two, two things. So like 10 read Newsweek and US News. Okay, so let's go with that one. So let's see what that says. So 10 read Newsweek and US. Okay, so here's Newsweek, US. So that means this region here would have to add up to 10. Well, in this region, we already have four in that spot. So this spot would have to make up the remaining part. So that would have to be six. Okay. And notice again, the intersection of Newsweek and US News and World Report Okay, this intersection right here adds up to 10, and that's exactly what it says. Now, if you put a 10 here, then what happens is this adds up to 14, all right, which is not what this is saying. So you have to be very careful. So let's put 6 back. All right, and then let's do the 12 read time in U.S. So this region right here has to add up to 12. And you already have four in here, so the remaining has to be eight. And then let's do 15 read time and Newsweek. So in this region, we have 15. We already have four in there, so the remaining has to be 11. All right, so that's taken care of. Wait, I messed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. See? Confuse that and right there. All right, now we have 25 read U.S. News and World Report. So down here, this entire set, okay, these four regions right here have to add up to 25. So normally what I'll do is I'll just come down here and I'll write a 25. So that reminds me that this set has to add up to 25. So right now what do we have? We have 18. So then if this all of this was to add up to 25, this would have to be 7. So we're done with that one. 30, read Newsweek. Okay, so Newsweek has to add up to 30. So these four regions. So what do we have so far? We have uh, 21 here. And so this has to be 9. All right, so then this adds up to 30. And finally, 
40 read time. So if I look at this set, these have to add up to 40. So, so far I have 23, so then this would have to be 17. All right, so let's just mark off 40 read time. Okay, so what region have we not found a number? So the outside. Okay, now this region represents all the students who don't read any one of these magazines. And the way we figure this out, well, remember that the entire rectangle represents our universal set, which has to add up to 100. So if I were to add up all the numbers in here, okay, so we could do that over here. So 17, 11, 9, 8, 4, 6, and 7. If you were to add that up, you should get 62. And since the, all the regions have to add up to 100, well, if this represents 62 of the students, then outside has to be 38. Okay, so now all eight regions add up to 100. All right, so that's how you fill out a Venn diagram, given some information. Now, I don't actually have any questions listed, so let me throw a couple up. Okay, so how many read at least one magazine? Now, if you're going to read at least one magazine, what we're looking for is the number in, you can be reading Time or Newsweek or U.S. News and World Report. All right, so what we're going to do is that's just any one of these regions in here. So if you're in any one of these circles, you read a magazine. So when I say at least one, you can read any one of them, you can read both, you can read all three, it really doesn't matter as long as you're in one of these three regions. So if I add all of these up, which I've already done over here, the answer is going to be 62. Okay, so let's try another question. How many read only Newsweek? All right, so this one's not too bad. If you're going to read only, and that's our important word here, only Newsweek, that means you're going to be in Newsweek and not Time, and not U.S. News and World Report. Okay, So that's what we mean by only. All right, And the only place where you're in Newsweek and not in any of the other sets would be right here. Okay, So our answer for how many read only Newsweek, 9. Next question, how many read exactly one of the magazines? So if you read exactly one magazine, that means you are in this region. Okay, so this is the people who read only Time, so not, not Newsweek or World Report. You can be in here. These are the people who read only Newsweek. Again, it's going to be exactly one of the magazines. And then uh, U.S. News and World Report. So what I'm going to do is, the, well, the answer to this question is going to be 17 plus 9 plus 7, and that equals 33. Okay, I th let's try one more. Final question, how many do not read time? Okay, so here's the time circle. So the people who do not read time would be the following. Right here, these are the people who read only Newsweek. Newsweek and U.S. World Report, only Newsweek or uh, World Report, and then the people who don't read any one of them. Okay, so these are the people who read Time. These are going to be the people who do not read Time. So let's just add those up. Okay, and our final answer is going to be 60. Okay, so that's a, a good example of solving a word problem involving three sets and using a Venn diagram.